Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading um, for Capricorn. What is your shadow work, your shadow side for October 2022? You can apply this to any of your placements. So uh, if you guys don't know what your shadow work is, it's basically getting in touch with a part of yourself that you repressed. Basically, this is our dark side. You all have it in a part of our healing. Uh, personal growth and spiritual growth is uh, tapping into that dark side, that shadow work. We're gonna see what that looks like to you guys. And then we'll finish off the read to see how you could transcend it, transmute it, work with it, what to look out for, what you need to work on. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watch, flip, twisted, or reverse. This reading is more so for the Capricorn individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? Uh, so Capricorn, let's get started here. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's shadow work, shadow side for October 2022. Tell me about Capricorn's... Jesus, tell me about uh, Capricorn's shadow work, shadow side for October 2022. Three of Wands, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you're looking for something, Capricorn, but I feel like you don't know what that is. You know, there's an energy of trying and trying and trying, but you feel like you're dropping the ball. Okay. Queen of Swords, Sleep or Aquarius, Gemini. I, I also feel like there's an energy of someone here is just not in touch with their emotions here. So there's an energy that someone here could be coming off a bit cold, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Queen of Swords. We have the High Priestess. Yeah, so I, I feel like someone here has a hard time communicating too. Communicating what they're thinking, what they're feeling here. I do feel like uh, even though there's, uh, you know, communication issues here, I do feel like with the High Priestess here that, that someone here is really tapped into their intuition. Cancer, Pisces with the High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. There is, you're experiencing, you know, really great success in your life when it comes to your money and your career. But there's a struggle here where someone here is, has a hard time basically articulating themselves. Queen of Pentacles, that's you right there. A three of Wands, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, and a Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, more of your energy showing up here. You know, I feel like someone's career here is on the fast track. Yeah, but the communication style here, when it comes to someone here expressing themselves, it's really difficult for somebody. Like, I feel like we have someone here that has a hard time putting things into words, okay? Um, you know, I feel like this has been a challenge for you all your life. And I feel like it has something to do with, like, maybe being silenced. Silenced by adults, silenced by people in and around your life. It could be, like, a past life imprint or something like that. Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The High Priestess and the Devil. There's your energy right here. You know you have a gift, Capricorn. You're able to tap into people's energies in and around you. And I feel like you could take on like their personalities. 
you're able to voice what other people are thinking and feeling. I'm not quite sure what gift that is, but you know, I feel like that is that is sort of helping you maybe to uh, that's sort of helping you to express yourself better in, in a way um ten of pentacles king of swords we have the king to queen of swords queen of pentacles and the three of swords okay some of you guys have a gift of being able to sense other people's ailments this is so interesting but i feel like there's a this is interesting. I, you know, I feel like you know there's a there's a sense of having a hard time communicate, but if you know, I feel like you might know someone, or you sense someone here has a, like a heart problem or a, like a blood vessel problem or a blood sugar level problem here. I mean, this could be a partner. This could be an ex. This could be a friend, a family member. All right, King of Swords, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, what else do we have here for Capricorn regarding their shadow work, their shadow side? How can they transmute it, transcend it, work with it? What do they need to look out for or work on here for October 2022? I mean, we have a lot of pages here too. So, you know, I feel like someone's, uh, I, I feel like someone here had to go up, grow up really quickly and someone didn't really have a childhood. Yeah. I feel like someone here took care of their siblings here, or took care, care of the whole family. All right, we have the Three of Cups here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Cups, and the Hangman, Piscean Energy, Seven of Cups here, and the Ten of Cups. I think, I think one of the important things is to surround yourself with the right people that's going to support you on your journey here. This is interesting. I feel like it could be a situation where, you know, you basically have been silenced about your gifts here. You might have been telling people about it and people were telling you that you're crazy. It could be friends or family or something like that or your siblings. Uh, but I, I do feel like, you know, there needs to be some sort of support system or some sort of like you know, maybe like a retreat that you could, could go that you could go to to help you ex sort of like expand those gifts here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Piscean energy with the Hangman, Seven of Cups here, and the Ten of Cups. You know, there could be a situation where also like I feel like you could be in situations or that you're in and around people that are not good for you too but you're allowing those people in your space. So there needs to be like firm boundaries with people here with family and friends. Cause I'm getting that there are leaky boundaries here too. Like I feel like people could take advantage of you very easily. The uh, Three of Cups, with the Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups and Justice, okay. Ace of Pentacles and Justice, Libra energy here. There seems to be a relationship that is unfolding here because there is a soulmate connection. I mean, there could be an opportunity where things could move towards higher levels of commitment here too. But I feel like there's an energy of not trusting it. There's a little bit of a back and forth, sort of like trusting your intuition and then you're not trusting it. We have the Six of Wands here. Okay, and the Queen of Cups, the Hangman, and the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like there are a lot of guides and angels and ancestors around you trying to protect you here. The thing is, I feel like you're not trusting it. I feel like you're, 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 you could be in your head about this. This is an interesting read. Seven of Cups here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. I think one of the things uh, that I'm getting here is to really trust the process and letting it naturally unfold the way that it should. Yeah, there, there's something about not trusting someone's gifts here. I do feel like someone here has gifts, okay? I do feel like we have someone here that's connecting with like maybe deceased family members here. All right. 
So that is part of your shadow work is, uh, is about accepting your gifts here because there's an energy of not trusting or that there's an energy of like pushing it away or just not understanding it or not knowing how to control it. All right. So uh, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.